so we're on a job site here changing out a 75 gallon so what we're trying to do here is get the tank out without damaging that flange right there because that's just drywall and a thin sheet of metal so you got to do this just right bingo we're gonna gut this thing and then what we're gonna do is rebuild everything from scratch so everything we do every time is gonna be brand new drain that last bit of water in the supply lines into a bucket so that we don't damage the drywall now we're gonna ream out the pipe. Make sure you get proper flow after we put the new valves on. Polish up the copper. That way we get a nice solid seal. We got a one inch ball valve because this is a 75. And then we got a T going up. That'll be our expansion tank. This is gonna be our supply to the water here. So what we're doing is trying to find the location for our expansion tank. This is the thread sealant. So what you want to do is you want to wrap your tape around the threads and then stretch a little bit over onto the seal. So now we've got our bracket set up. We've got our copper plumbing set up. Just loosely getting the expansion tank straps in. So you got to stretch it a little bit so just a, a touch gets around. There you go. Getting our measurements perfectly for the straps. So we gotta put these fire blocks on the wall to keep the water heater just off the wall. We pretty much got this whole thing gutted and everything is brand new. And that's how you get a massive water heater into a cavity like that. Remember how we had those blocks? See, it's gonna bump up against there and keep the water heater in the pan just perfectly. And if you don't do that, if it leaks from the top, it's gonna flood the whole cavity here. Oh yeah, that's on there. So what we're doing here is getting all the B-vent twisted into a proper position, which can be tough, and then that will drop down right on the flue hood. So we're gonna fill up the tank while we're finishing the vent, and right now you can hear it rushing. So you wanna turn the water on as soon as possible, get the vent hooked up, and that way you can get the water hot before you leave, and then you can test it. You need to go to each faucet in the house and make sure that the water's hot after you turn the water heater on. All right, so it's been about two minutes of pushing that button, clicking the igniter, which is that button right there. And now it's green status, which means we're good to go and it's on. You should be able to hear it. If you have any issues, phone number's right there. 